Yeah, that totally just said Hibereke's delicious puzzle. Sunsoft stable of slightly off cute things have for us today a board game style puzzle compilation full of pain. Let's admit it, it's about pain. The pain of waking up on a Monday morning and stumbling into the office after barely being able to order my morning chai in intelligible sentences, only to immediately be put to work doing crosswords in Japanese. Fortunately, most of the clues are other Sunsoft games, so I was able to put my knowledge of Alien Syndrome and Ripple Island to use. I blame Felicity in Worcestershire. She's obviously behind this plot. Seriously, who could spot the differences between these pictures on a Monday? I ask you. In case you're not watching this on a Monday, or some other time when you can, you know, commiserate with my plight, let me lay it out for you. The moderately absurd cast of Hibereke have taken to this Game of Life style board to spin a spinner and travel around doing a puzzle each time they're brought to a stop. There are four main styles of brain teasers presented. Spot the difference challenges, crosswords, picture reassembly puzzles, and find this guy in a crowded area. That's it. That's pretty much all you get to go on. And there's a huge gulf between the difficulties of these things. The crosswords tend to be a bit on the kanji intensive side, and the difference spotting is bleeding miserable on an upscaled television, while there's no excuse whatsoever, whatsoever, for ever failing the other two games. Seriously, thus the game becomes less about solve the puzzles and more about avoid the ridiculous ones. Yeah, <laughs> good luck with that. There's a single player mode that takes place over three maps, and a party mode designed for two to five players, yes, five, gotta love those multi-taps, which takes place over the same three maps. Hey, don't fix what ain't broken, right? Well, don't fix what works to a moderate degree, but still leaves one wanting. Ultimately, the massive gulf between the easy games and the hard games makes this whole package kind of frustrating. There's really nothing really notable to it. The sound isn't anything to write home about. The largely static bitmaps that you have to pour over to find some thread out of place are kind of grainy. It's like Sunsoft realized they had a real hit in the original Hibetike, aka Euphoria, and then just left it in the open air to shrivel and die. Granted, this is the same group of people who gave us Mystery of Atlantis, Iki, and any number of other soul-crushing aberrations, so I'm not quite sure I'd put it past them. Were I in a situation where I absolutely needed a strange, very Japanese Super Famicom party game to amuse a group of people, well, I would seriously reconsider my choices in life. Pull out Itadaki Street, pull out any of those weird as hell life simulator games, or heck, Bomberman! Everyone plays Bomberman! But just remember Hibetike is an awesome platformer, and not for this. Hibetike's quote unquote delicious puzzles kind of left a bad taste in my mouth. Maybe they just needed some more salt. Or bacon. Everything's better with bacon. 